Hey guys, welcome to this training. So today I wanna to go over what is the loop method. A lot of people ask us, what is the loop method? How does it help me build a six-figure business, a multiple six-figure business, or even some of our clients getting up to making a million dollars utilizing our method. So I'm gonna be going over it today. So first let's start with why did I create the loop method? So the loop method is an organic marketing system that allows you to acquire clients consistently. So the first thing that I was looking for when I was in the online space was predictability. How do I know exactly what to do every single week to get clients every single week? And so that's the first thing created for predictability. The second thing is I know that it needed to be a system that I could hand off to someone else, that it could be systematized. It could be broken down into simple steps that other people could take on so that we could delegate it. So that's the second thing. I knew that it had to be systematized. The third thing, I wanted it to be value driven because I believe in heart centered businesses. I believe in building heart centered million dollar businesses. And that needs to come from a place of providing value to people and of being in service. So that's why we created it. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to share with you the four different steps. And the reason I have these two models here is because the loop method, I like that it works in loop because you can keep doing it. You can kind of keep cycling through it. But in essence, it is an organic funnel. What this means is basically we have cold traffic coming in on the front end organically. So it comes in on the front end and at the bottom, we get paid clients. So basically these are the same things just in different ways. So maybe some of you will understand it better in one way or the other. So the first step to the loop method is building a targeted audience or BTA is the acronym. So the first thing is how do we get cold audience, people who are not in our audience to become a part of our audience? Now, of course we want them to be targeted. We want them to be the right type of people in our audience. So that's why we call it build a targeted audience. So this is what we call an audience growth system. Okay. How do we have an audience growth system? Okay. So this is the system that you need to learn in order to do this step. The second step is how do we take people who are in our audience and get them to become a lead? How do we get them to make that decision to go from this stage to selling them to becoming a lead? Something we talk about a lot is that people will take small steps with you before they take big steps. When they get to know, like, and trust you and buy from you, they need to get to know, like, and trust you in a small way first. Small commitments first, then big commitments, just like in relationships. So. What we want to do is how do we get someone to trust us initially? Well, let's get them something free, something valuable. We call them value pieces here at CCI, something that's going to provide value tangibly. They're going to be able to take something and actually implement it and get a really good result. And so when they do that and they actually opt in, as it were, they become a lead. They become someone who's interested. And because the value pieces that we give to them would only be something that our ideal client would find valuable, it also filters out the people who are not ideal clients. So now at this point, lots of people just start to sell these leads hardcore, but when you're selling a product or a service that's a higher ticket amount, you want to get to build a relationship more before you sell to them. So this is what we call nurturing or some people it's like watering the seed, right? So these leads, we now get them into a nurturing process where we really heat up that know, like, and trust through your content, through your conversation, through figuring out what they're going through, getting really intimate with these people, providing really customized free value for them, whether it's in messenger or through your content, whatever it is, really heating that relationship up. Because once you do that, and then you offer to get on a call, these are the people, they, they message us the time when, when we offer calls to them, they're like, I totally want to get into your program. Yes, let's chat. They're hot leads. They've been nurtured. And then we get on a sales call. And obviously at that point, that's when we talk about the program, see if it's a good fit. And if it is, they get in. Now here's, so every step has a system. So the first step is the audience growth system. Then the second step is the lead generating system. The third system is how to nurture them. The fourth system is sales. The last thing I will say is that the most important thing is understanding your numbers, understanding your metrics. So if you get a hundred people in on the front end, so you're building a target audience, you get a hundred people. Let's say 30 of those people will actually become a lead. Let's say that 10 of those people decide to like, they're, they're really conversing with you. And let's say you book maybe five sales calls out of that and close two or three per week. That's very average numbers. So if you sell a couple packages per week at this point, you're going to have a multiple six figure business. And this is something that we see again and again, we follow through the most. That's why funnels are built like this. Cause you get the most amount of people in the front layers and then it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. 
But the cool thing is, since it's the loop method and it's predictable, if you keep putting things in the front end, things will come out the bottom end. And that's why we always say, what you put into your business, the input equals output. So input X amount of targeted audience members, follow the system and you will get predictable sales. So anyways, if you have any questions on this, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram. It's just Ruben Drieger. We also have a podcast that you can find on uh, anywhere podcasts are. Just again, you can type in Ruben Drieger and you'll find our show. And I hope this was helpful for you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.